one, 3D, Blu-ray in this bitch. Let's just get on with it. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. This is going to be a quick review on the 3D version of Rogue One. Now, I watched it the other day. I posted a little video enjoying that bitch. I'm not going to talk about the movie because everyone's done seeing the movie in this bitch. And for those of you who haven't, there's no way I can really talk about it without spoiling certain things. So I'm not going to talk about it. Go watch it. Buy that shit. It's awesome. All I will say is that I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It's got a nice kind of dark vibe to it. And there are some very, very cool moments in that bitch. But the thing is, how's it going to stand out in 3D in this bitch? The 3D of this, it's very good. The depth just goes on forever in this bitch. I had some friends who watched it in the theatre who said that it was a little dark. A lot of this movie is at night, space, what have you. But it's a much brighter picture than, the, than what you may have seen in the theatre. That being said... The 3D is really good on this, especially the climax at the end of it where you got the big battle in space, the dogfight in space in this bitch. God damn. The depth just goes on forever. I mean, that's the key word of this transfer is the depth. Great depth. Some things do appear to pop out a little here and there, but in my opinion, uh, episode seven uh, was a much better 3D experience. It was a lot more immersive. Episode 7 felt like it was shot in 3D. That's how good the 3D of that was. That could be in your top 10 3D list in this bitch. This one has a lot of depth and it does have some pop-out moments. It's got some standout moments, but I don't think it comes close to Episode 7 in terms of the 3D age in this bitch. The movie was not shot with 3D cameras. It was converted after the fact. And it does show in certain parts. There are some scenes which you're just going to feel like I am actually looking through a window in this bitch. But there's other scenes where you're going to be like, okay. You're not going to be able to help but compare it to episode 7 in this bitch. Yeah? So episode 7 is a much better 3D transfer. Now how do I say this without spoiling this shit? You know the end with a shit. Where you got Darth Vader in this bitch. And the lights have us tough shit going crazy. God damn. When you see, like, what's happening, you feel like you're there trying to escape yourself in this bitch. This shit make you feel like he's in the room with you in this bitch. So there's some really, really good moments. Would you have felt that way without the 3D? Yeah, but the 3D adds definitely adds immersion to that bitch. So I do recommend you pick it up because number one is Star Wars. Number two, the 3D is good. And number three is Star Wars in this bitch. And number four is Star Wars in this bitch. I would love it if there was a 4K transfer of this. You know this bitch was shot in 6.5K? God damn. Digital intermediate 4K in this bitch. Now the only thing which would probably make this uh, 3D Blu-ray a must have is if it had Dolby Atmos sound. But it doesn't have Dolby Atmos in this bitch. It's got DTS HD Master Audio. 7.1 or 5. I think it's 7.1. So, you know that may make a little bit of a difference. You want Dolby Atmos when you've got dogfights, shit happening all the way around you. You know, when you've got lightsabers. It's a Star Wars sci-fi, you need Atmos in this bitch. It comes bundled with extra uh, a disc for the bonus content, and there is a shit ton of bonus content. There ain't any deleted scenes in this bitch, but there are some really, really cool uh, features. They talk about the Empire, they talk about the joy, they give you a little background on that, and it's definitely worth watching. And they also talk about certain difficulties they got into whilst they were making the film. Some of the production issues and what have you. So in that respect, you definitely pick it up. Are you missing out if you don't have the 3D? Yes and no. There are some really good scenes which, which really do show off the 3D. But it, I don't feel it's a, a consistent experience. Whether you get it in 3D or 2D, it's a win. So whatever the case is. You definitely want to pick this. You have failed me for the last time.